Hey, this is Victor Antonio with another Monday morning sales workout for sales managers. Now, we've all heard the saying, people buy from people they like, right? So what defines liking? Well, download your worksheet because that's what we're going to talk about today. What is liking? Let me read the situation here. Albert Morabian, a, prof a professor of psychology at UCLA, is best known for his verbal and nonverbal messaging, also known as a 738.55% rule, percent rule. Let's walk through it. According to Morabian, there are three channels that we use to assess whether or not we like somebody. Use three channels to assess whether or not we like somebody. 7% is verbiage, the actual content of what somebody is saying. 38% is voice, tone. And 55% is visual, body language, what the person looks like, right? You're always analyzing. Now, what's interesting about this study is that we always say you don't judge a book by its cover, but in many cases, we simply do. That's our nature. The most shocking thing about these numbers is that 7% is verbiage. So in other words, the content is not as important as the 38%, which is the voice, the tone. Now, Let's walk through this slowly because I want you to talk to your salespeople about this. The 55% is visual, so we should always be professional looking. We should always make sure we're very aware of our body language, our micro gestures, our micro, you know, facial expressions. We should always be aware of these things, right? How we're transmitting what we're saying. But also, 38% is voice and tone. That means the ability to say things with confidence is important. If a customer asks you a question and you hesitate, like, uh, yeah, I, I think we can do that. That little hesitation, that little micro hesitation can lose you the deal right there. So, nah, I don't know if I trust this person. You hear this hesitation. In fact, we've all been in situations where somebody's talking to us and then you ask a question and there's this hesitation, ever so slight hesitation. And you say, nah, I don't think he understands or I don't think she understands, right? So it's important for your salespeople to understand that being able to not only from a physical standpoint have presence, but voice, tone. When somebody pushes back an objection, your tone should be one of confidence, no hesitation, no pause. That's why it's good to know what you need to say when a customer raises an objection. You need to be able to say it without thinking because tone matters. So I give examples here, but you know what? I want you to work with your sales team. In other words, I want you to discuss the three channels, you know, the actual content, which is the verbiage, the actual voice and tone of what we say, but also body language and maybe even turn it around. Ask them what they see when they're talking to a customer. What body signals are they receiving that says, mm, they're not looking to buy? Or what tone of voice do they hear that either reflects confidence or lack thereof? So again, three different channels that we use to determine whether we like somebody or not. That means when we're talking to a customer, we got to have the visual down, we got to have the voice down, and we have to have the content down so the customer goes, hmm, I think I like this salesperson. So again, go through the exercise, it's a simple exercise, but I think it's worth going to make salespeople aware that what they transmit matters just as much as what they're selling. This is Victor Antonio with the Monday Morning Sales Workout, always reminding you, Selling hard when you know how. Take care.